Hey, what's going on? This is John Ivins with AB Audio. I want to take you through a typical mastering chain for me. Uh, first, I'll show you the track and then bypass all the plugins. So I'm going to start with the two that are doing the biggest difference in the track. Uh, this Dangerous Backs EQ is basically just a low shelf and a high shelf. And then Golfoss um, is a pretty great plug-in that is just going to intelligently uh, kind of clean things up a little bit. Here's these two. And in between, I have BX Control V2. Um, with this, I'm just taking out a little bit of the stereo information of the low end and then um, putting a little width back. Here's this one. So that's just giving a little more focus to the low end. Um, cleaning up a couple of frequencies here. UAD Studer tape. Uh, this one is going to be a little more subtle. Um, just going to give a little bit of glue and a little bit of clarity. Uh, when I click here, it's going to bypass. Kind of controls and softens up the high end a little bit as well. SPL Iron is a pretty subtle compressor. Um, this is going to give the bass and the low end a little bit more definition, and it's also going to tame the snare a little bit. And then Ozo 9, just a little bit of, tiny bit of EQ there on the low end. Um, this first instance was from my mixing session, and then um, these two here were from my final mastering session that I did with all of the tracks together. Uh, so this Ozone, again, a little more cleanup in the low mids. Dynamic EQ, uh, thanks to the master assistant. And then for this example, I'm not limiting, but I would typically just bring this down and um, limit about 2, 3 dB and make the ceiling about minus 1.5 for streaming purposes. I'll just show you a little more EQ cleanup here. Last time bypassing everything. Mm -hmm. 
So as you can hear, that all adds up to be quite a big difference. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to do kind of a Mastering 101 with uh, Logic Stock plugins. So check that one out, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.